This is the project for week four, Abstract Design, ages four to six, and it's based off the Northwest Coastal Native American um, artwork. So your students will have a picture in front of them that's the salmon that's not yet complete. So you will walk them through adding the fins, and then after that they will add their abstract traditional designs within the shapes. So to begin, you will show them where the top fin will begin and end. So you can see that I will put a dot here. You can have them place a dot on the top of the back and the second one over to the side. And we're going to be doing a traditional U shape to create that fin. So we start at the bottom, we curve up, the U goes over and then slides right back down. So there's a lot of repetition of shapes within this. And we're gonna do a second U here at the bottom. It comes down, across, and curves back up for the U. And lastly, a smaller one down, across, and back up. So now your students have done three traditional U-shaped designs for the upper and lower fins. And then lastly, we're going to do the um, other side of the crescent here for the back fin. So start on the side, do a curved line that connects both sides. So now you have the outline of the salmon and each student should have this complete. After they complete it, they can use their black marker to thicken up these to create more of a form line. The um, Native Americans usually did thick outlines for the edge of their designs. Once the students do that, you will walk them through using traditional motifs inside of the salmon. So you're going to go step by step and make sure that each student does the design as you lead them through it. So first you can say, let's do two straight lines in the tail. And each student will have a completely different looking abstract design because there's no right or wrong way to add two lines in the tail. They can do it however they wish to do it. So I'm just going to go in and just add two lines as I want to. I'll kind of go like that. And then you can say add a circle in the head. And again, the circle is a shape that's used in traditional Northwest art. Um, I think mine will go right around here. It can be any size that they choose. Draw a large ovoid in the body. So you can show the students from that printout what an ovoid is. It kind of looks like a slice of bread. It's flat on the bottom, curved on the top. So hmm, I'm going to go in and I'm going to draw a large ovoid in the body. And it can be as big and as long as I want it. A curved side goes back around. So even though you're walking through the kids' um, actions step by step, each student will have a different design. So allow them to make all the decisions um, other than what shape to be doing. So the size, placement, all that stuff is up to them. Now let's add two crescents. Hmm, where? Wherever they want. So I'm going to do one crescent in this top fin. And this again works with oils. They have to do curved lines and um, pointed angles at the ends. So I'm going to do another crescent think right here. They should probably be doing this part in pencil in case they do want to change it um, and then they can go over it with a black marker once they're done. Now add three circles again wherever they want. Um, I'm just going to count mine out one, two, hmm, three. All right got my three circles there. Now add three curved lines. I'm going to go in and add one in my ovoid. One, actually another, two, and one more. Where shall I put it? Right there. Three curved lines. And so you're going to be watching the students um, and kind of seeing if they're able to fill in their fish a lot, if there's still a lot of negative space. And so if you think that the fishes have quite enough design, then you can stop here. If there's still a lot of space to fill, you can just keep on adding more instructions. So for example, add two filled in dots. Okay, where do I want to put my dots? 
I'll put one right in here and I think I'll make it well, yeah maybe I'll just go right here in the eye for another filled in dot all right um, add two straight lines I think I'll do a straight line here and here all right so basically that's it and once the students have enough design work that's going on inside of their fish they will use the black marker first they will thicken up some of the lines to create thicker form lines. They will keep some of the lines thin to create those thinner lines, and they will fill in some of the shapes. Then they can choose one or two primary colors. So the primary colors are red, blue, and yellow, and they'll choose one or two of those to accent the drawing and add some um, filled in shapes with maybe red or yellow or blue and yellow or blue and red to complete that drawing.